Are you studying for IGCSE computer science and aiming for that coveted A star? Are you not sure how to get to that A star? Don't worry, you're in the right place to find out. Hey there, I'm Aryan and in this video I'm going to be doing a full breakdown of how to get an A star in computer science as someone that got a 96 on the subject. First, let's talk about understanding the syllabus. Just like with any other IGCSE subject, the syllabus is your ultimate roadmap both for preparation and for what to keep in mind while you're giving the exam. The Cambridge syllabus document will lay out everything that you need to know. So make sure to head over to the cambridgeinternational.org website and download the relevant document for your subject here. While reading through the syllabus, highlight the areas that you're confident in and the areas that you're having a little bit of trouble with. For example, in the data representation unit, you might be doing very well at binary conversions but struggling with hexadecimal conversions or with file sizes. Identifying these gaps early on in the revision process will make your studying process way smoother. Now, IGCSE Computer Science has two main components, the theory paper and the programming paper. We're going to look at both of these but let's first go over the theory paper. The theory paper in IGCSE Computer Science is all about understanding how computers work. From data representation to hardware to network security to much more. Don't just memorize facts. Focus on understanding the why of each topic. For example, instead of just memorizing a list of reasons, try to properly understand why we use hexadecimal instead of binary in certain scenarios. Try to understand why we truly need protocols like TCP IP while we're transmitting data. This deeper understanding will ensure that you perform better on questions that haven't been asked to you before. This understanding will not only help you out during your exams, but will also open the doors for further studies in computer science. When revising theory, make your notes concise and visual. Use tools like bullet points, diagrams, or flowcharts to simplify complicated topics like the fetch-decode-execute cycle or how encryption works. Flashcards are another great tool that you can use to memorize the definitions, advantages, or disadvantages of different technologies or techniques. Apps like Quizlet can make these incredibly easy to create and can also allow you to test yourself while you're on the go. For the practical paper, Programming skills are critical. Even though you don't actually need to write code in your exam, knowing how to do this can be incredibly helpful during your preparation and can make the process of writing pseudocode a lot easier. Most IGCSE syllabuses focus on Python as the primary programming language. So get good with the fundamentals, loops, variables, functions, and more. Once you've mastered these, move on to the more complicated topics like file handling, arrays, or sorting algorithms. Make sure to practice coding regularly, even if it's only 15 to 20 minutes a day. Websites like Replit can make this process a lot easier by giving you an online code editor so you don't have to actually install an IDE locally on your machine. You can also use websites like Code Academy or HackerRank to get structured practice problems that you can approach and further hone your programming skills. One of the best ways to practice programming specifically in the context of IGCSE Computer Science is to go through programming questions that have been asked in past papers. These questions are designed to not only test your programming skills, but also test your ability to apply logic and reasoning to different scenarios. Pay specific attention to how questions are worded since it can clue you in to how you're supposed to approach answering them. For example, if a question mentions a list of student names, think about how you can, say, iterate through the list or use string functions to edit the contents. Let's talk resources. Your textbook is a great resource and as usual, as I say in every single guide video, I 100% recommend using it. But it doesn't stop there and there's a lot of other things that you can use to make the path to an A-star way easier. Websites like Teach ICT or Computer Science UK have wonderful resources like worksheets, quizzes, and more. Znotes has excellent short revision notes that you can use to revise most of the important concepts on the day before or the morning of the exam. Oh, and of course, don't forget YouTube as well. There are plenty of videos that break down really complicated topics and explain them to you in simple ways. Once you're confident with both theory and programming, it's time to dive headfirst into solving past papers. 
Start with one topic at a time and go through the questions slowly and thoroughly. Once you gain more confidence, you can move on to doing full pass papers. Make sure to time yourself while you do them, exactly like you would have if you were giving the actual exam. Exam timing is a skill in and of itself and practicing under timed conditions will help you get used to the pressure. When you're checking your questions, make sure to always use the official mark scheme. This will help you understand exactly what examiners are looking for in your answers and will help you better predict the kind of ways in which you should answer when you're actually giving the exam. Now, let's discuss some common pitfalls. One mistake that I see students make all the time is not balancing theory and practical correctly. Look, I get it, practical is a lot more directly engaging, but you can't neglect theory. It makes up a significant portion of your grade. Similarly, if you're the kind of person that isn't good at programming, you can't just neglect the practical paper. You need to practice it so you can get better and perform well on the actual exam. This ties in pretty well to another mistake that I see a lot of people making which is avoiding the concepts that you're having difficulty with. If you're not good at, say, network protocols or binary addition, don't just avoid them. Challenge them head on. Use the step-by-step -step tutorials that I mentioned earlier on YouTube or approach your teacher for help. Just make sure that you don't leave any potential weak points unaddressed. When it comes to exam day, make sure to read through the question carefully. Underline keywords like define, analyze, or explain, since it will help you identify what kind of answer is expected from you. For coding questions, make sure to test your logic on small examples before going ahead and writing the complete algorithm. And for theory questions, make sure to be specific with your answers and hit all the required keywords. For example, instead of just saying encryption makes data secure, instead say Encryption uses a key to convert plain text into ciphertext, making it unreadable to unauthorized users. Hitting all the right keywords that would usually be given in a mark scheme makes your examiner's job way easier and also makes you more likely to get more marks. Lastly, take care of yourself. Computer science or any other subject can be really intense, so it's important to balance studying with leisure time. Sleep well. Stay hydrated and don't cram too much the night before the exam. A clear mind is essential, both for recalling things and for problem solving. All right, so that's all. To summarize, getting an A-star in IGCSE Computer Science is about approaching the subject and the questions in the right way. If you found any of the advice that I gave you in this video helpful, make sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel so you never miss an upload. And hey, if you have any questions or want to share your own IGCSE Computer Science success stories, feel free to leave a comment in the comment section down below. I'll try to answer as many of y'all's questions as possible. Anyways, that's all for today. I'm out and thank you very much for watching.